Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie and in today's video, we are going to be cleaning the kids bathroom. If you need some cleaning motivation, this is the video for you. My son is the one who mainly used this side of the counter. My daughter has her own side, but I will not be cleaning her side on this video. Their bathroom is almost like a Jack and Jill, except my daughter's room is connected to the bathroom and she has her own sink. And my son room is not, but it's literally right outside of his room. I'm going to be changing their shower curtain. I need to wash it. And I also need to replace the clear curtain liner. I usually change the curtain liners whenever I feel like it needs it. And you can find them at Target, Amazon, Ikea. They are very affordable. Sometimes I just spray some cleaner on it and wipe it down when I feel like it doesn't need to be replaced, but I want it to look clean. All right, let's start cleaning. Oh, oh.
I am just using one side of the sink because a couple of days ago we noticed the other faucet was leaking. It was dripping a little bit of water here and there. So my husband just shut off that one side. We thought about replacing it, but I said no. I would have to replace both. And I don't even want to think about that right now. I know me, that one little faucet can turn into a whole bathroom renovation in no time. And those faucets are original to the house because I tried looking for it and I could not find them. Plus my son only used one side anyway, so it's fine for now. I do plan on renovating this bathroom someday, so we'll just have to leave it like that for now.
cannot link the shower curtain because I don't remember where I got it from. I want to say Home Goods a while back, about five years ago. No, don't make me lie to you. I have no idea. All I know is I've had it for a while. Right now, I am showing you how I store and organize under the bathroom counter. I got this little basket from the Target Dollar Spot a while back. I got three of them. I have one in each bathroom. This was a must for me. I got tired of running back and forth between all three bathrooms while cleaning one bathroom because I left the bathroom cleaner in one bathroom. It was so frustrating. So I went and purchased three of everything three toilet bowl cleaners, three Clorox spray, Lysol, glass cleaner, and now each bathroom has its own cleaning product underneath the counter. So I don't have to go back and forth. It has made my life so much easier. Even though I outgrew the basket, because when I first started, everything fit inside the basket, and now it doesn't. My collection grew. I think I need a bigger basket. Right now I am showing you some of the cleaning products that I keep underneath the bathroom counter. After that, I'm going to show you how I store them underneath the counter. I do keep the waste basket underneath the counter and not next to the toilet because in our house we flush toilet papers and anything else that is not toilet paper goes in here, which we change often. The powder room is the only bathroom that has the waste basket next to the toilet. I keep paper towels there so when our guests wash their hands, they have access to paper towels instead of hand towels, which I feel for me, it is more sanitary. Remember, this is just what works for us in our home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more home content. See you next time.